what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Happy Father's Day to all of the fathers out there. I bring to you on this glorious day one of the worst sons that a father could ever leave his legacy to. On the fourth anniversary of his death, Muhammad Ali's only biological son said that he would have been against Black Lives Matter, calling the movement racist and the protesters devils. Ali was a boxer and activist who stood up against racism throughout his life. But Muhammad Ali Jr. says that his dad would have been sickened by how the protests have turned to violence and looting after the death of George Floyd. Don't bust up shit. Don't trash the place. You can peacefully protest. My father would have said, they ain't nothing but devils. My father said, all lives matter. I don't think he'd agree. Of the Black Lives Matter movement, Ali Jr. said, I think it's racist. It's not just black lives matter, white lives matter, Chinese lives matter, all lives matter, everybody's lives matter. God loves everyone. He never singled out anyone. Killing is wrong no matter who it is. He said this in an hour long interview with the Post. On police brutality, Ali defended law enforcement in general. Police don't wake up and think, I'm going to kill an N-word today or kill a white man, he said. They're just trying to make it back home to their family in one piece. Speaking of George Floyd's killing at the knee of a white Minneapolis police officer, Ali said, the officer was wrong in killing that man, but people don't realize there was more footage than what was shown. The guy resisted. The officer was doing his job but he used the wrong tactic. He agrees with Donald Trump that Antifa fomented violence during the Floyd protest and should be labeled a terrorist organization. They're no different from Muslim terrorists. They should all get what they deserve. They're fucking up businesses, beating up innocent people in neighborhoods, smashing up police stations and shops. They're terrorists. They're terrorizing the community. I agree with peaceful protests, but Antifa, they need to kill everyone in that thing. Black Lives Matter is not a peaceful protest. Antifa never wanted it peaceful. I would take them all out. Wow. Tell us how you really feel, Ali Jr. Boy. Yeah. Oh, man. This dude is really pissed at Black Lives Matter and perhaps anybody who has the gall to challenge the status quo. He looks like a crackhead. He sounds like a crackhead. A crackheaded buck dancer. I was curious, so I looked him up. Turns out he lives in Florida, he's 47 years old. He struggled to make ends meet in recent years. He fell out with his daddy after his dad and mom broke up. Limited contact. He works as a landscape gardener and construction worker. He previously said he only gets $1,000 a month from his daddy's $60 million estate. Muhammad Ali had nine children, eight daughters, and Muhammad Ali Jr. and an adopted son named Asad Amin. Now, this dude, Ali Jr., is the son of Belinda Boyd, who also gave Ali three other children. Now, Ali Jr. says that, check this out, fam. You're going to love this one. He's never been singled out by the cops for his skin color. And he defends them against charges of institutional racism. 
He said, I never had a bad scene with a cop. They've always been nice and protect me. I don't have a problem with them. This, despite being uh, held in question by TSA under President Trump's travel ban on seven Muslim majority nations. He was released both times. Check out what he says about Trump. I think Trump's a good president. My father would have supported him. Trump's not a racist. He's for all people. Now y'all know that is a goddamn lie. Ain't no way Muhammad Ali would have supported Trump. No way. I don't care if he is seen in pictures from back in the day when Trump was low-key racist. You see, he was keeping it to himself. See, a lot of people say, well, you know, well, why wasn't people saying, why was all these rappers and these celebrities uh, bragging on Trump back in the day and saying his name and all this stuff and hanging out with him? That's because they didn't know who he really was. He showed his true colors when he started running for president. Actually, he started showing his true colors when Barack Obama started running for president and it looked like he may win. That's when he really started showing his true colors. So he had a lot of people fooled. And a lot of people just didn't know his history, didn't know that his daddy was in the Klan. Just didn't know. So kill that noise. And Ali Jr., you, boy, you, well, I bet you don't, I bet you don't even, I bet you don't even chew your buttermilk biscuit. I bet you just swallow, swallow them whole. You are a disgrace. You need to drop that Ali name immediately. You have no heart, no soul. I can guarantee you those girls are stronger than you on any given day. You are a sucker, a wimp, a simp, a chump. Spineless. Good God. I wonder did I leave and get a paternity test for you, boy? Because I can't believe that the greatest would produce something like you, something so inferior, something so low class. Gutless. Good God. He only gets $1,000 a month from his daddy's estate. Perhaps his daddy ain't his daddy. Perhaps that was a little consolation payment. You know, just give him a little something, you know, because he'd be hanging around and stuff. He probably found out later that it wasn't really his son. He's like, okay, I, okay, I gotta give him something. Lawyers and everybody was like, I ain't giving him shit. Don't give him nothing. Uh, Muhammad, don't give him nothing. He was like, eh, you know, give him something. Give him something. something give him something. <laughs> man, man, man. There you got the name. Muhammad Ali Jr. Your mama should be embarrassed and whoever your daddy is should have pulled out. No more talk. What the talking about?